Hi you guys, today I'm gonna share my acne story of how I struggled with acne for five long years and cleared it within two months by truly figuring out the root cause. So come along and I am gonna share my story. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you get notified every time I release a new video. I am gonna be sharing much more about how to clear your acne, how to address the root cause, what to do about your gut health, and all things wellness. I have fallen in love with this whole wellness lifestyle and journey and I have learned so much. I am a true science nerd at heart. If you are new, my name is Danny. I am an acne and gut health nutritionist, but six years ago, I struggled with my skin. I had cystic acne that covered my cheeks, it went down my jawline, down my neck, it even covered my back and my shoulders. It was truly one of the pain, most painful things I have ever been through. I was also engaged at the time and the mental toll it took on me thinking that I would have to walk down the aisle with acne consumed my entire day. So I set out on a path, a war path, to figure out what was causing my acne. So before we get into that part of the story, let's rewind a little bit and explain how my acne started to occur, when I started to notice it. 2012, when I started to notice my acne, it was after I had graduated college, I was in my 20s. I really never struggled with acne when I was in high school. I mean, I had the occasional zit. And when I did, I actually went to the dermatologist and they put me on antibiotics for over a year for that one tiny little breakout that I had. Looking back, I really did not struggle with acne in high school, but I did a lot of damage to my gut from that. In 2012, I started to notice it. That's when I did the typical route of going to the dermatologist, and then I also went to my OBGYN to make sure that my hormones were in balance, and everything came back normal. The dermatologist gave me prescriptions for topicals, cleansers, creams, tretinoin. I think that prescription pad that I walked out with had about $1,500 worth of skincare products on it. So that I could not afford. I think I got one of those products and tried it out. So I ended up chasing doctor's appointments and really trying to find somebody who would listen to me and listen to me wanting to heal my acne naturally on the inside. I had one doctor tell me that I just need to stop stressing out and then proceeded to try to sell me her book about stress. I did everything. I tried all of the testing. I did the blood panels. I did the thyroid testing, the hormone panels. I mean, I went as far as doing the urine tests, the saliva tests. They even did an ultrasound on my ovaries to make sure I wasn't dealing with PCOS. When I tell you I had every test done in the book, I felt like I had every test done in the book. I had been poked and prodded and nobody could figure out why I was struggling with acne so badly. On top of trying to figure out my skin, I was also planning a wedding and it was very stressful. I loved planning my wedding, don't get me wrong, but just the combination of that and then spending all of this money I started going to have like uh, acne facials done every two weeks, which was not cheap. I had all of these topical like creams and cleansers and masks and everything to just kind of help soothe it, if anything. And I had kind of given up on the whole doctor thing and thought I'm either gonna have to accept this or maybe it'll end up going away one day or I'll figure it out after my wedding. I just don't have time anymore. I am so mentally drained and exhausted from trying to figure this out. My aunt actually said she had gone to this new naturopath who she thought I would really like. She gave me his info and I sat on it for a little bit. I thought about it because I had been to so many doctors, you guys. I mean, if somebody recommended somebody to me, I would go see them because in my head I was like, what do I have to lose? I, I call it my guardian angel now. This voice say like, just try, just go. And so I booked the appointment, I got there. He sat down with me for two hours, listened to my entire health history, listened to what I thought was causing my acne, and really just gave me this sense of I was being seen, heard, and understood. It was such a breath of fresh air and I just left that meeting so hopeful. And he agreed that he thought it was in my gut, that why don't we try doing this? If this doesn't work, then we'll come back and do something else. 
and he was very open and honest saying, I have worked with many people with acne and typically get it clear. We may not get it clear right away and we may have to change your protocol, but if you're willing to work with me, I'm willing to work for, with you. So I tried his protocol. It really wasn't doing much and then he was like, okay, I think in order to understand what's going on inside of your gut, we need to do a stool test. And boy, did I not realize how life-changing a stool test would be because not only did it show me exactly what was going on inside of my gut, it also told me exactly what I needed to do to heal my gut and heal my skin, but it also completely changed the trajectory of my career because that is what I do now. I read stool tests for a living to help women clear their skin because that is how profound this test was for me. I knew something was going on in my gut. I had a hunch it was candida. My stool test for stool results came back. It was yeast, but it was not candida. And how it was explained to me, I thought was really helpful because when you research candida and whatnot, or yeast or healing your gut, it's all about the diet and what you're eating and doing all of these things to help heal the diet where my gut was a total mess. It was a total wreck. And a lot of what we are taught is helping to strengthen the gut. But that is on the premise of you already have a good gut. If you don't have a good gut, a lot of times we need to go in there and completely like wipe it out, clean it out, cleanse it out, get rid of all the gunk and the monk and the debris. It's kind of like when you find a, a house that you want to renovate. You don't just go in and start throwing up the wallpaper you love and the paint you love and the carpeting and the furniture and the interior design. No, you have demo day. You gotta demo that thing so that you have a clean slate and a solid foundation to work with. It's very similar to the gut and that is what I learned is I needed to go in and clean out my gut because it was not, it was not working. And that's what the protocol that the stool test itself actually came back and showed me. So it's really cool. It actually shows you a picture of all of these different natural antimicrobials or antifungals or whatever comes up for you and how susceptible that specific species is to getting rid and helping you rebalance your gut, which I think is genius. I mean, we are dealing with so much antibiotic resistant bacteria these days. So it's only natural that some bacteria is gonna be resistant to natural antimicrobials and antifungals. For me specifically, my kind of magic pill, if you will, was grapefruit seed extract. Who knew this bottle of grapefruit seed extract would completely clear my skin? Now, I was on a bunch of other stuff too, and we did some homeopathic remedies as well, and I was already gluten and dairy free at the time, and he did recommend that I stick with that just for now while we heal my gut. And so when I started that protocol, I kid you not, this was in, this was the end of April. My, my skin was horrible. Well, I'll throw some photos up here so that you can see what my skin looked like. It was horrible. By June, it was gone. Like, I am telling you, gone, clear. I did not have a zit to speak of. My mind was completely blown and it was just in time for my, my bridal shower. And I wore this beautiful white lace gown with an open back that I absolutely loved and I bought it so long ago, like before my shower, and I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to wear this because it's totally open back and I don't want all my acne to just be showing through my back because it was all over my back as well. And I got to wear that dress and I still have it and it's like one of my favorite dresses of all time. But when I say addressing the root cause and really getting down to what is causing your acne is key to clearing your skin, it is truly key to clearing your skin because since then I have been able to incorporate dairy back into my diet. I am still pretty, I steer clear of gluten, but I have been able to add in so much more to my diet than I had been, and my skin has been able to maintain clarity, which I think speaks volumes to when we get our body in balance and working with us, we don't have to be constantly fighting these symptoms 
that rear their ugly heads like acne or even painful periods or bloating or stomach pain or stomach aches or constant food restrictions. Um, it truly allows you to have this sense of freedom in your life where you get to choose, not based off of fear, but choose because you get to choose. That is my story, that is my acne story. It took a long time, it took a very long time. That's why I changed my career path. I didn't think that everyone struggling with acne should have to, have to fight for themselves so ferociously to find the root cause of their acne. I mean, I had to fight. I cannot tell you how many arguments with doctors I have gotten into because they look at me like I'm some sort of idiot who has no idea what's going on with their body and they're the expert and they're gonna prescribe me what they think is best and I need to just accept that. Well, I give the big middle finger to that most of the time. Acne is just one of my health stories. I've had many other health stories and if I had not advocated for my health in one of the circumstances, I may not be here. That's how passionate I am about advocating for my health and helping others advocate for theirs, but I also realize that I can now come and help others so that they don't have to fight so ferociously when they're sitting in their doctor's office. If you're interested in learning more about how to get to the root cause of your acne, I have an acne starter guide that will get you started. I hope that was helpful. If you have questions at all, please comment in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you next time. 